Hey, what is up guys? Mixelplex here. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing captaincy update with you guys, just how to get started and just kind of helping you navigate just exactly how everything works. So to kind of get things underway, we're going to go ahead and go for the main menu. We're going to go ahead and navigate to our ships. Now, when you decide to click play, you'll be greeted by two different menus here. Now these two different menus, you'll have your standard galleon, you'll have your brigantine, you'll have your sloop. Then you have my ships. Now it says you can purchase ships to own and sail as a captain for perks and rewards. Now, obviously that's how we're going to go. We're going to click this and obviously I already have a couple of boats already purchased as you can see here. Uh, but let's go ahead and purchase a ship for ourselves. So I already have two boats and legendary status, which I'll explain a little bit later, but uh, essentially what you're going to be looking at is three different price points for three different boats. Sloop, you're going to have to pay a one-time fee of 250000 Brigantine, you're going to have to pay a one-time fee of three seventy-five, And then for a Galleon, you'll have to pay a one-time fee of 500000 gold. Now, let me go ahead and repeat this. This is a one-time purchase. You will not be charged <laughs> extra at any point, okay? Uh, for some reason, a lot of people are like super scared that this is just going to pull 250 every time you load in and out of a server. No, this is a one-time purchase. That is it. So we're not going to purchase another boat just yet, uh, as I already have a couple of boats that we can go look at. Uh, but essentially, this is how it works. Once you purchase your boat and you name it, uh, you'll be greeted by this. And from here, you kind of just proceed on to the next step. So... Uh, for me personally, we're going to load into our sloop called the Roaming Ronin. Now, if you watch my streams, this is typically what I'm using. But let's go ahead and go. Uh, let's actually set sail. Now, you do have the ability to rename it and restore it if it's damaged from previous uh, sessions. Again, if that's your thing, you can do it. But it's cheaper if you actually do it in this main menu versus in game. In game, they charge you about two to three times more. So kind of keep that in mind. If you're looking to save a little coin, definitely do it on the main menu. Uh, but let's go ahead and set sail on the roaming Ronin and we'll kind of discuss and kind of showcase some other features. All right, so when you're finally in the game, you're greeted by the standard outpost spawn. Then you go over here and you're greeted by your boat. In our case, the roaming Ronin. All right, so you're probably wondering, well, now, what did I just drop this gold on? What exactly did I just pay for? Now, did I purchase, you know, did I get a new feature at Order of Souls? Did I get a new outfit? No. Let's go ahead and head on over to the shipwright. Now, you're probably thinking, well, can I buy supplies over here? Well, you can still buy your standard supplies from any merchant vendor that you would like to. Uh, but if you come over here to the shipwright, the shipwright will be the most important NPC that you will have to deal with as a captain. So let's go ahead and visit the supply in captain's voyage shop. So what this essentially does here is it allows you to purchase supplies for your voyage. You can buy like 20 or 30 planks, about 30 cannonballs, 10 of each throwable, four pineapples and a mixed number of food and then 12 meat provisions. Then if you like to fish, you can buy yourself some bait. Now, this essentially is awesome. I've always wanted to have gold dumps. I felt, honestly, for me, this is great because I do like to do some PVE, and but this allows me to kind of straight out of the gate have some decent food. If, the, you know, if I need to really get into a fight right away, if I need to defend myself, I will have some pineapples, some good throwables to kind of compete against a rivaling boat. Now, one of the biggest things for those who do not like to do world events, you're more of a voyage person yourself, you're probably thinking, dude, what are all these different things here? <laughs> well, basically, uh, what it is, is these are voyages that you can pick up just like every standard voyage that you can get at Merchant, Gold Hoarder, wh whoever, essentially, right? But you can buy them in bulk of five. Now, that tell me that is not freaking cool, and it just allows you to be efficient. One of the worst things of trying to do voyage stacking is having to literally go buy, you know, you have, oh, I've used three. Let's go back to the outpost, buy one, alt of four, buy another one, alt of four. Like you have to constantly do is really just a staggering process of trying to stack voyages. Well, now with this update, you can stack voyages. 
freaking cool and honestly probably one of the best things especially if you like to do veils if you're still trying to get your ancient sword or if you just want to level up athena you can buy veils in bulk of five kind of wish they had this when i was doing my grind personally but one of the coolest features that they've added so far and i can't wait to do a couple of voyage stacks again because i haven't done voyages in quite a while but with them allowing us to buy them in bulk like this this makes it so much easier all right, so now we're gonna go ahead and check out the stock. Now we're gonna go and look at ship decorations, which is gonna be kind of like the, 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 the real cosmetics of the interior, essentially. Now on a sloop, unfortunately, we don't have the options like a galleon does, whereas the galleon has the, the you know, the captain's chair, the captain's chandelier, and the curtains that go with it. Unfortunately, sloop does not have that many options where we only have captain's table, drapes, and a bed and a rug those four are all we get while galleons do get a bonus of the extra three now these are all obtained by getting certain levels in different companies which again uh is very boat specific so eventually i do want to get all of, like the ghost captain stuff and you know stuff like that but it will take some time now you can also purchase trinkets as well now these are going to be the little little literal trinkets that you can put all among your boat that'll give your boat some character that'll give it a little bit of depth and you're probably thinking how do i get these as well well these are all based off of milestones that are obtained within the game from just playing or just doing certain things for example uh, i got admiral marooned here uh, which is by reaching class 10 in the islands of visited this is simply visiting different islands in the game i recently just hit level or uh, class 20 in this by visiting uh, by hitting this milestone and that allows me to buy uh, instead of just having a base wood looking version, we have a version with iron around it, which is kind of cool. But again, these are all really up to you if you want to invest in these. Uh, some people want to, some people don't. I have personally am going to invest in them because I have quite a bit of gold. And it'd be cool to eventually unlock all these at some point in a couple of years. But uh, some of these milestones are definitely going to take a, a little bit long. Uh, but again, these are milestones they are not intended to be completed within a couple of days definitely worth checking this out i can't tell you which ones to go for as it's very subjective uh, if you want a certain painting see what this does like for here uh if i wanted the secret in the sands we have to hit class 50 in completing voyage quests by doing gold hoarder missions essentially or voyages so if you want to complete something i guess kind of pick and choose what certain fish you want to you know farm up just to get their trophy uh if you want to grab a painting of a certain kind Regardless, definitely worth investing. You do get some, uh, so after we kind of go through these different fish plaques, there is going to be some here that you can just purchase with gold. Honestly, I find that like, these are some of the best ones in the game. Uh, I haven't finished purchasing these because at the time, this is when they were having server problems, but you can buy all these from varying from like five to 25,000, uh, very affordable and they do look pretty cool. So. We're done looking at the ship, right? What exactly have I done here? What exactly can you do to your ship to customize it? Well, let's kind of go and do our boat cosmetics here. So for this figurehead, I'm going to be saving this, the gold hauler figurehead. Now you can save your bow skins and that's kind of one of the perks. Now this is again, if you are someone like myself who's been playing a while or you just want to just start having presets, this is how you do it. Uh, let's kind of find a sail to go with this that we like let's go ahead and do let's just do our flex boat go and do this let's do our wheel as well as you see everything here will cost around 2500 uh 2500 5000 to 7500 as well pretty cool very affordable uh but unfortunately at the moment as of this video and as of this upload uh hopefully this has been fixed if it's not that's unfortunate but it is what it is uh they are aware of this issue and hopefully they get this fixed uh swiftly and there you have it so if we log out right now all of this will be saved to our sloop and we'll be able to keep it all right so going on to our boat as you see here we already have a couple of trinkets now because of the current glitch in the game a lot of this stuff has been resetting uh so again just if, if things are bugging out that's probably why so we go down here and we have a couple of things. Yeah, like this was already, uh, is already missing actually, which is kind of nuts. So we've got our painting here. We got a couple of trinkets locations up here. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and drop this. Let's actually drop, uh, let's drop 
shop this down here as well. Actually, you know what? Let's do, because we want to add a little bit of character. You know, let's put our hat and put up our coin for the day. We got our uh, pans here, you know, for additional cooking. There should be a location, I think, about right here as well. There should be one right here. Uh, let's do this painting. We got this one too. And we have another painting area just like that. And then, of course, if you wanted to kind of look at it now, I think there is, I don't know if this sloop actually has, I think there's like, yeah, right here. The spool of rope is the only location where you can do like a, if you want to do like a woodcutter, you want to save this. Or if you want to save the you know, little spool of rope, you can. Pretty cool. I, again, I do wish the sloop had a little bit more customization, but it is what it is. And then if you go up here, we're going to place our trinkets. Now we're just going to put a couple of things up here to kind of give this kind of show off an, uh, an example of how this works. And then there's also a painting location up here, which we're going to do for this. And voila. Actually, I do want to put. Wait, can I put no, no shot? I can actually do that. Interesting. OK. Well, we'll put the painting here for now. And there you go. So pretty cool. There's a lot of cosmetics. Remember, you can also change this as well. That's actually something that I forgot to do right away. Uh, let's go to ship de uh, ship decoration. So one of the things I did actually miss out here is we're going to actually go ahead and cosmetic up our boat real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and give it. We'll give it the, the best vibes that we can give it right now. Now, the crests are something that you earn throughout playing and something you'll just earn passively. The moment you, you keep playing, eventually you'll get all of these at some point, but some of these are highly targeted while others are just fairly easy. Now, all of these up here, you can actually purchase, uh, I think with the exception of one of them that I didn't buy. Uh, but in our case right now, we're going to be using this one right here. The big game hunters right there. You can also change your logbook when you do uh, kind of level up in certain factions. Pretty cool. Again, none of these look really that crazy, but uh, the white books personally, they look really cool. Uh, same with this. Once you do level in certain companies, you will start to unlock these different banners. Uh, again, because things are just kind of buggy right now. Well, let's go ahead and use the Dauntless Anchor ship banner. And then for the ship title, we're going to be the legendary emissary. And we'll save that. And there we go. All right. So now you're probably thinking, well, Mix, you've shown us all the cosmetics, how to make our boat look good. You keep mentioning milestones. What exactly are those? Well, we're going to kind of navigate to our main menu here. We're going to go to our ship's log and then we're going to go to milestones now. Uh, as you can see here, there's a couple of different submenus, and I'm going to go ahead and explain exactly just what these are. Now, the Roaming Ronin is our sloop. It's a full breakdown of what our sloop has on it so far, what I've done on this boat. My boat at the moment is level 150. Our ship milestones are uh, 373. And our pirate milestones are 341. So basically pretty, not too bad, but they used to be a lot higher, but they did change milestones recently uh, to kind of adjust a couple of them that were one, either too easy or two. They were just, they needed to be adjusted. It seems we we actually lost about a hundred. So going through this for our pirate milestones are, we're going to be looking at, for example, the rogue. Now, uh, this is one of the things that they adjusted recently. Now, to get certain classes, you're going to have to do things for, you know, whatever. So in this case, uh, we have to sleep for five minutes to get class one in in a specific thing. Now, for the roaming Ronin, these are tied to the ship stuff. So, you know, again, if we're doing like uh, how many provisions we've cooked on board, stuff like that, all of these milestones are all personal things. Now, I would highly suggest you do not burn through these as some of these are just going to kill you if you end up trying to do them too much. Just track them, do with them, you know, do them over time. But please remember, guys, milestones are literally like that. They're literally something that you're not supposed to complete within a week. If you do, props to you, but you're probably going to be burnt out a little bit. So just enjoy the journey. 
try not to go too crazy with it but if you're looking to track a certain thing you can actually display these on a menu so as you see in the bottom here we can pin this to ships log we're gonna press escape and you can see right here on the roaming ronin uh as a ship you know milestone we can track it it goes straight to it so we need essentially 11 more to get this done pretty cool if you do want to keep track of all your stuff this is a, kind of an easy way of doing it i really recommend for those that are looking to track time and stuff like that especially when it comes to uh, the sea dog stuff definitely check it out all right so we went ahead and did a shrine to kind of show off one of the best features of the captaincy update and honestly having a captain boat uh, that you actually own so with this update came the sovereigns and all the sovereigns you're probably thinking you know what exactly are they well they're basically a middleman and allowing you to sell at a hundred percent value and a hundred percent reputation now the one drawback of this faction is you don't necessarily get to benefit from selling certain things and getting like accommodations done uh so that that does kind of suck unfortunately but if you're looking to quickly offload here's how i recommend so we're gonna park our boat right here. Obviously, I pulled my anchor back up, but since we're just gonna quickly offload real fast, let's go and drop this. Go over here. Now, remember, each of these sovereign towers are available at every outpost and are available to any captain uh, if you choose to use them. Also, I would like to kind of clarify as well as these do work with emissaries. Gems will be sold to your emissary of choice. And again, there's no negative to it. So let's go ahead and grab this. I recommend kind of maybe doing it at a little bit of an angle like this. Honestly, at this point on this one, I would probably do this. And there we go. And as you see, everything is right there, right for our you know, quick bank and come over here and sell it for full value now again we're not using a emissary so we're not going to be getting any increased profit from this but regardless sovereigns are probably one of the best things that they've added especially for those who are like myself who don't really run reaper that much anymore uh, this is kind of nice and allows us to offload fairly quickly and i have to worry about always looking for like a uh like a harpoon robot which is kind of tricky to find sometimes got one more piece and there you go normally this bank would have taken us maybe with that amount even 10 to 20 minutes if we didn't find a cannon rowboat not cannon rowboat but a harpoon rowboat and have just done each piece you know piece by piece we'd have to go to a, a certain outpost just to make it easier and this is why the sovereigns are freaking such a huge quality of life thing i know it's a very controversial thing right now for some reason people don't like it i'm gonna be honest as someone who tends to bank large volume of loot and not necessarily always a reaper this was a huge addition to sea of thieves and that's going to be the end of our video the captaincy update honestly is probably one of the better updates that they've added to the game that is both content for both new and veteran players while we may not have gotten something in terms of an event or like something for pvp it is a pretty pretty good update in my opinion uh for me personally it is nice and it's actually rewarding to see pop-ups again that feel like wow i'm actually progressing towards something and it's not just a simple you know like uh whatever you know i'm not <laughs> it's not the same old thing where we're not just grinding events and never seeing like a oh hey you're doing something you're actually working towards something whether you know it or not essentially which is cool and it allows me to kind of like maybe get a random cosmetic that i didn't know i earned so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did consider hitting that like button consider subscribing for more shorts and youtube content as well as the occasional live stream so thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys in the next one